Hi Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be using a couple of different decks today and we're going to be seeing how your current person is feeling about you uh, and about your situation. So this can be for Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Um, and if you would like a private reading, please feel free to reach out directly. Um, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this content and also to subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, um, let's jump into this person's subconscious first and foremost and see what's going on in their subconscious mind and what they might be feeling and thinking internally. Okay, so when we have things going on in our subconscious mind, it's not always known to that person um, and it's not always plain or obvious to them. So this is things that maybe they don't even know about themselves that they're feeling towards you. This may be things that they're trying to process, but this is, it could be of a bit of an internal struggle. So um, these emotions could be quite hidden. Okay, so we'll use the bottom of the deck. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So subconsciously, there is something about a new beginning or a new start. Now, this could be a variety of different things for a lot of different people. But off the bat, the Ace of Pentacles is about a new beginning. It can be about a fresh start. It can be about giving things another go. Or it can be about them wanting a whole new chapter or a whole new romance um, in general. So they're in their internal minds right now. Um, they're thinking about some sort of new beginning. Now, maybe if they're an Earth sign, if they're a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo themselves, maybe they want a fresh start for themselves and maybe they want to work on themselves. Um... But it would indicate, notice how there's a path to the Ace of Pentacles. Notice how there's a path, an archway, and this is about moving on to the next step in life or the next step in their relationship or their love lives. So um, so what, what could be happening here is maybe they feel on a subconscious level that they want something more. Uh, maybe on a subconscious level, they feel like they want to go to the next phase of their love lives with you. Um, it's not so much speaking about an exit, at like a departure. So it's not so much, it's not a card that would symbolize, I want to leave this connection. Um, I want to back out, like I'm done type thing. It would be more that they want to go in deeper, like they want to go into the garden. So they obviously want to go deeper in a connection, uh, much deeper than they thought they initially wanted to go. So subconsciously that is what is going on in their mind but let's let's clarify that um with this deck and their subconscious okay nine of wands nine of pentacles five of pentacles okay there's something about an ending the number nine is a is a number of endings um things that have changed things that are no longer stand so to see this nine I feel like it's coming out of a place of fear. Notice how he's trying to like camouflage himself here with the nine of wands. Um, and the nine of pentacles is like fulfillment here. So they want fulfillment with you. Um, but they might not be getting it. You've got the five of pentacles. So they feel subconsciously, they feel like they weren't getting their needs met with you or where you currently are. Um, five of pentacles also could feel like they've been neglected by you. Maybe you haven't been spending enough time together. You haven't been in contact. You never ended up taking a trip you were supposed to take. Um, you know, your work got in the way, whatever it is. It's very likely with the Five of Pentacles that on a subconscious level, they are feeling super disconnected, okay? They're feeling disconnected to the sense where they either feel like the end is close or they want to end one cycle and embark on the next. Remember I said new beginnings. Um... So you've got the five and nine. They're thinking about the big things. Five is the number of we think about of everything. So subconsciously, they're thinking about a big future here. They're thinking about a lot of... They're considering everything in their love life right now, water signs. Five is really a number of when it's it's about everything. The five senses. Five is about making an important decision. So right now, their subconscious mind could be telling them to make some sort of decision, either to end things maybe or to find fulfillment with you. So I get the sense that there's a bit of an internal um, struggle that's happening here for this person. Let's have a look at what's going on in their conscious mind though. So what you're actively seeing or could see from this person. 
or what they're thinking and feeling. Okay, so Eight of Cups, this, their, their conscious mind is, is thinking about leaving a situation or if you, if you have left a situation, that this is a card of departures and walking away from something because something is missing. Notice how the cups are all stacked up nicely, but there's this space here that's missing. Something is missing for this person. And now this could go different ways. Um, we've got the moon here, so this is Divine Feminine. There may be a Divine Feminine connection that's missing you. Um, or it's very likely uh, what we're seeing here, uh, water signs, is that uh, this is Cancer energy. Um, so this may be more for the Cancerians watching. Either way, or it could be someone involved with a Cancer. Either way, what I feel the Eight of Cups is, is saying that in their conscious mind, what they're seeing and what they're thinking and what they're feeling right now, what you're seeing is that they're slow, they, slowly, they may slowly have one foot out the door. They've turned their back on you or maybe on the connection right now. It doesn't mean it's always going to be this way. The moon can speak about like anxiety um, and feeling distance, okay? Because the moon is like this push and pull energy. So they may be feeling very distanced in the conscious mind, okay? And they may have even distanced themselves from you. Maybe they were frequently showing you attention and now not so much, you know? Suddenly you feel like they've made some sort of exit in their life. They've made some sort of change. And maybe this is inducing a bit of anxiety within you. It can very much speak of exes as well because the moon can be the past and I feel like those of you that are wanting someone from your past or someone that is now in your past, like an ex, um, it's almost like this person feels like they're further and further away from you. Maybe you've moved away, maybe you haven't spoken in quite some time, but they're feeling super disconnected and as a result, if you've turned your back on them, they've probably done the same thing and turned their back on a situation here as well. Maybe they've come to a point where they can't handle that anxiety anymore. But let's get some clarifiers out and see what's going on here. Why are they feeling the Eight of Cups? And what is it that's missing for this person right now? It could also be that they're missing you, um, water signs. Okay, so we've got the Chariot, again, Cancer Energy, uh, the World and the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles and the World card is reversed here. So the World, they're not open-minded right now and they're possibly not very hopeful. Um, their conscious mind is possibly negative or pessimistic at this point in time. Um, the World is closed off, so meaning they, they don't really have their options open right now. It could be that they're not really connecting with people online, they're not really traveling, they're not really getting or putting themselves out there. The world reversed is almost like they're becoming a bit of a recluse these days. Six of Pentacles is also reversed, um, which is really interesting because their subconscious mind had the five of Pentacles, yeah? But their conscious mind has the six. So this seems to be a really big thing for them. This is about giving and receiving. There could be something that's unfair or there's some sort of inequality that they're feeling and they feel it in both their unconscious and conscious mind. So what this could be is, I want to focus more on the six. What this could be is because it's reversed here in this way, I'm getting a vibe that six of pentacles reversed. They're not feeling like they want to give too much. Maybe they've given a lot. They've given you a lot. It could also be like they're trying to be like, no, I don't want to think about this person. I don't want to give them too much thought, too much attention because they're not feeling very hopeful that things could proceed right now in the conscious mind, the world card. And this is all about how you've been presenting yourself as well, water signs. Um, the chariot is cancer energy. The chariot is about emotionally moving forward. They're trying to move forward um, and emotionally they're trying to protect themselves right now. They could be feeling very hurt. Now, the car can symbolize departures and things leaving or there's some sort of disconnection. So there's someone here that has been hurt by some sort of departure or some sort of leaving behind. Um, because the car is protection. It's emotional security. Right now, they're trying to be emotionally secure um, or they're seeking emotional security from you. They're, they want you to you know proclaim your love to them or they want you to be there for them. They want you to be their anchor. They want you to be there to support them, to love them. And I feel like with the chariot card, the, the bird is hope. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the Bible, you know, we've got the dove. If, if you're not familiar with the, um, the flood story, you know, we've got Noah on his ark and he's out on these turbulent seas. And then, you know, God sends him, uh, he sends out a dove. 
um, to go and see if there's land nearby, if the flood has dried. So the dove is a symbol of hope, and but it's also a message. So it's they could be hopeful that they'll receive a message from you, or they're hopeful that there is a message here that's going to tell them what to do in this situation. Because they could be feeling like they need more direction and they're a little bit lost. And this is their way of going about it. This is their way of... Um, processing things I feel. So I hope this reading has been helpful, Water Signs. I really do appreciate you tuning in. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, and I'm sure I'll catch you very soon for more content. So um, please take care and bye for now.